Eric Rubkiski here. Welcome to my 25 minute legs and back fat loss workout. We will start with a warm up followed by a seven exercise circuit and then finish off with a cool down. Each exercise will last 30 seconds followed by a 30 second rest break. Your goal should be complete 15 reps per exercise. Once you can complete all three rounds for 15 reps, increase your weight or perform more reps for that movement. Are you ready? Let's get started. When we're doing our hip bridges, we want to focus on rolling the hips off the ground, tucking the tailbone instead of throwing the hips towards the sky. We don't want to see the kangaroo pouch. So hold those abs in, roll the hips up, push through the wedgies, and then roll back down. Good exercise to warm up the glutes, the hamstrings, and the abs. If you want more abs, reach the arms overhead like so. Almost there, all right. Hip hinges, toes are elevated, pull the butt back, come back up. We have a lot of deadlifts today, a lot of hip hinging exercises for the glutes and the hamstrings. Pulling the hips back, nice stretch on the backside, and then pushing the ground away, standing tall. We're almost there. How are we feeling today, team? You ready for a workout? All right, squats, just flip it around, heels elevated, reach those arms straight down. Keep the torso back, reach the knees forward, hips back, knees forward, hips back. Just like that. I love me some squats. Gets the heart rate going, warms up the body. We got one more move after this. So we got jumping jacks right now. If you can't do jumping jacks, because you live above someone, then you can always just go to marching. So either marching or jumping jacks. Your choice. After this, you get a 30 second break, and then the party's starting. 30 on, 30 off, seven exercises, three rounds. We're gonna break a sweat, there it is. All right, so first exercise up. Going with something called a B stance. Deadlift, also known as a kickstand deadlift. Grab both dumbbells. And you can also look in the top hand corner to see the exercise. But we're here, one foot's elevated with the toes, the other foot's elevated with the heel. Straight down like a deadlift, push back to the standing position. Got it, here we go. Hips are back. That back foot's heels elevated. We should feel a lot in that left hamstring. If you feel this is too heavy, you can always ditch one dumbbell. So I could always just go left dumbbell only if I wanted to. That's gonna be less muscle growth, a little bit more of improving our mobility. All right, 30 second break, good job. Other side. It's 30 seconds, you need them. We don't wanna be killing ourselves right now. So we were left leg forward before, and now we're going right leg, I'll show you that side perspective. Get ready. Party's starting, kinda of see that back toes line up with my heel. Here we go. Load up that front hamstring. So I'm hinging back, coming back up. Chest is staying up. Slight arch in that lower back. Pushing that ground away. Don't worry about that horizontal hip thrust. That's not that important. I want you to still focus on just pushing the ground away. Like you're trying to jump. Almost there, team. Keep working. Remember, round one. Go slow, learn the techniques. There we go. Next up, got a lateral hinge. Lateral hinge. Wow, it's a new exercise actually, I love it. So, we're right here, again, top hand corner, take a look at that. We're gonna be here, reaching across. You can go body weight or you can use a dumbbell. Up to you. I'm feeling good today. We're rocking the dumbbell, people. Left leg, 
Toes are elevated. I'm gonna sink into that left hip, drive back up. Side glute heaven. This is how you build strong hips, strong hamstrings. We're pulling ourselves backwards like a deadlift. Pushing back. Good work, good work. For under 10 seconds. Beautiful. How we feeling? Getting used to some of the new movements. Put the other wedgie there. Again, you don't have to use a dumbbell if you don't want to. You can always go body weight. 10 seconds. I like to line up both feet. Here we go, team. And then sink back. Think chest up, long torso. Look down as you go down. Look up at the camera. Who I guess the TV for you. Under 10 seconds. And last rep. Great work, great work. Next up, we got bent over rows now. So we're going double wedgies here, just like a deadlift but instead we're just doing a back exercise. So get your dumbbells at your side here. I only have one pair of dumbbells, but usually your weights should be heavier for your upper body move, uh, for your lower body movements. All right, hinge in position. I like to get to the top first with my weights and I'm gonna hinge down. And here I am for 30 seconds, two. Let's count the reps, three, four. I think shoulders away from ears. Elbows to pockets, you can reach the dumbbells forward a little bit to get more lats. Just don't swing them too much. Way to work, team. Squeeze those dumbbells as hard as you can. Keep that chest up, good work, good work. Last one, and good. Good work, good work, we're on the ground now. So just slide the dumbbell, the wedges forward. We're laying down. We got a dumbbell pullover. Again, look at the, the screen in that top hand corner to see the exercise. We got the feet on the wedgies. Let's get these organized. Here we go. Bridge those hips up, scoop them off the ground. Long reach overhead. Bring it back. Inhale. Exhale. Right when that bicep. Gets in line with the ear, pull it back. Again, we're focusing on no pooch here. Remember from the warm up. No pooch, our hips are rolled up off the ground. Lower back's off the ground a little bit. As you get better at this move, you can raise your lower back off the ground more. And good work, good work. Next up, we got crunches. Always gotta throw in a little abs, right? Move everything out of the way. No wedgies here. Enjoy the little breather. This is the last move of the first round. Feel good, I'm waking it up. It's the afternoon here, it's two o'clock. Little afternoon pick me up. All right, three, two, we're here. One, exhale every rep. Good work, good work. Back and forth. Time check, five seconds. Two. Give me one more. Beautiful. That's round one, drink some water. Remember, 30 seconds is the longest break. The reason we keep the break short is because it's time efficient and we wanna keep that heart rate up as much as possible because our goal is fat loss. Once the fat loss, we want incomplete rest. Five seconds. 
Here we go, less talking, more working. Back heel's elevated, front foot's elevated. Here we go, pull the butt back. Remember, leg drive. We're halfway. All that weight's in the front leg. Beautiful job, good work, good work. The beauty of the wedgies, it's a little flipperoo. Put the weights down, shake it out. We got 20 seconds. How you feeling? Round one's done. Started round two. Here we go. Back foot's lined up with the back front heel. And you're down. I just did that same leg. My apologies, team. We gotta do a right leg. You keep going. Here we go. We're gonna catch up. That's why you hire a trainer. You don't wanna be doing the same leg twice. We gotta play catch up, team. I'm gonna do some bonus reps. You guys take a breather. I need to catch up. I'm here to work, not hang out. Last one. There we go. All right, we got that lateral hinge. Remember, there's always the exercise in that top hand corner for you to see. We're going left leg here. Toes elevated. Other heels lined up, so perfectly straight line. Sink down and pop up. So we're still pulling the butt back. Same exact move as before. If you want to, you can narrow your stance a little bit. That's gonna be for more advanced people. If you have less mobility in your hips, get a wider stance. And over time, walk it in. We're trying to get this hip that way. Knee stays in. Last one for me. Woo! I feel that on the side glute, and that's what we're targeting. A lot of single leg movements today. I like doing single leg stuff. You don't have to do it all the time, but it's a good mix up. It allows you to see the imbalances in your body. And the imbalances are perfectly fine. Everyone has them. Here we go, team. Pushing out. Remember, pull the butt back like you're trying to shut a door behind you. Good work, good work. Come on, five seconds. Beautiful. Ooh, got some rows. What do you know? It's time for some rows. Set up our weights. 10 seconds. Let's get 15 reps. If you can do 15 reps for all three rounds, it means you need to increase your weight. Butt back, showtime. Exhale, inhale. Last one. Woo. Great work, team. All right, we're going down. Now we have the pullover. The pullover isn't just a back exercise. We're also getting some glutes here from an isometric position, and we're also training our abs as well. So like anytime 
I reach overhead, if this flare is open, our abs are not doing their job. So keep this down, keep your ribs down. So for some, keep that lower back flat the whole time, reach overhead. Now I want you to feel the floor as you're doing it. And then as you get better at it, scoop your hips a little bit. Inhale overhead, pull it back. Great exercise. Abs, improving upper body posture. Last one. Beautiful. Oh, it's my favorite time. We got the abdominals coming up. Take a little breather. Get those good inhales. Long exhales. All right, for this one right here, I want you to keep pace with me, all right? Go at my pace. It doesn't mean it's gonna be fast. We're gonna move slow. But the abs, here we go. Exhale. You hear my breathing? That's where I want you to be. Long, slow exhales. This is the opposite of your birthday. Don't blow out the candle. Back and forth, how you feeling? Under five seconds. Last one. Woo! All right, let's jump it up, drink some water if you need to. I felt the abs cooking there a little bit. We got left leg first here. Give you a different angle. 10 seconds, team. Here we go, last round. This is where you sell out. Here we go, pull it back. Shut the door behind you with your butt. Push it back up. Great work, let's push the last round. Get everything you got here. Push it through. Bonus. All right, so I'm not gonna make the same mistake last time. We just need to do a little foot placement change. Whoops. There we go. Fantastic. One's going down, one's going up. 12 seconds. Whoo, we feel good. You're getting cardio here too. It's not just weights, getting fat loss, improving our cardio. Three, two, it's show time. Here we go. One, two. It's okay if that back heel comes off the wedge, that's fine. Great work, last round doing this. Pushing that ground away. Beautiful. Lateral hinge coming up. Left leg first. All right, team. You doing weights or not? Which one are you rocking with here? 10 seconds, quick water break. Gotta hydrate. Last round. I'm gonna go a little tighter, so. Slightly wider than shoulder width. I really don't care how low you get here. It's more about getting wide. So pushing that hip, working that glute, driving back up. Come on team, let's work, let's work. Remember why you're here. Come on, we're under 10 seconds, let's work it. We're at five, here we go. Push it out. Last one. Whew. That might be one of my new favorite exercises. Side hips don't get that much love. I mean, a lot of people do these types of exercises, but I think there's some really good benefits from keeping that leg in place. All right, under 10.
here we go. Last round doing this. Sink into it, drive it out. Pull it back. One side might feel tighter than another, so adjust accordingly. Again, it's fine to have imbalances. Flat back. All right, let's work. Here we go, under 10 seconds, come on. Sink into that hip, drive off of it. Bonus. Woo. That side booty. All right, I'm gonna face you this time. Bent over rows. Woo. We're on an unstable mat here. You know, a little bit of bounce goes a long way. How are we feeling? At that halfway point right here with these bent over rows. Let's go team. 30 seconds. 15 reps. Here we go. Elbows to pockets. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze those grips. Time to work. Come on, we're halfway. Last round, sit into those hips. Don't give up now, we're under five. Beautiful. Woo. Let's lay it down now. We got pullovers. Two exercises left. And then we got the cool down. We're breaking a sweat, feels good. You don't need to crush yourself in your workouts. You gotta get that energy going up afterwards. Shouldn't need to take a nap or anything. These workouts are to improve our productivity at work, our relationships. Especially if you're a busy professional. All right, 10 seconds team. Come on. Big reach, pull it back, let's work. Come on, we're almost there. Give me one more. Finish. Great work. All right, last move. We got the bicycle crunches coming up. Woo. Feels good. How are you feeling out there? It's our last move of the day. Five more seconds. All right, team, let's go. Back and forth. Roll up off that ground, exhale. Reach long. Connect each time. Back and forth. Here we go, keep working. Almost there. Bonus, we're going for an extra 30. Drink some water if you need to. It's the last exercise. It's the last move of the day. We're going for extra here. 15 more seconds, team. Woo, baby. Those abs are burning. Almost there. Five seconds. Come on. Last one. Ooh. Ooh. That 60 seconds straight of crunches there. That is no joke. Awesome job, drink some water. And then we're gonna hop into our cool down. Beautiful. How you feeling? All right. Here we go, a little downward dog for one minute. One minute of downward dog. I like the pedal of the feet here. So again, we're thinking like pushing ourselves back, not so much as like squeezing our shoulder blades together. Once you feel those shoulder blades spread apart, make a nice A-frame. Inhale. Exhale.
Almost there, 10 seconds left. Keep breathing and drop it down. Ah, thank you so much for joining me in today's workout. If you found the video useful, please share with a friend, hit the like button below, shoot me a comment, give me some advice, and of course, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for more exercises and tips on how to train against gravity. Until next time, have a great day.